I'm going to tell you a horror story. It's the story of my job. You may think you have it bad. Low pay, bad hours, degrading assignments. You may even think you have the boss from hell. But you don't have my job. Because I really do have the boss from hell. My name's Sam Matheson. I'm a vampire's familiar. That's just a fancy way of saying I'm an assistant to the Prince of Darkness over there. When it comes down to it, I'm the guy who dumps the bodies and shelters him from the daylight. All I've got to show for it is an ever-present migraine and a dying conscience. If you can believe it, I took this job so I could become like him. Now I just want to feel like a human being again. Before I became his assistant, even before I knew they existed, I loved vampires and their whole dark shtick. As a kid, I watched Christopher Lee films and molded fake fangs. Of course I knew they were bad, but all I saw was their power and mystery. I wanted to be part of that world. And lucky me, it came knocking. Do you like these sorts of movies? Vampire movies? It's all I live for. Do you like this one? Are you kidding? It's a classic. Except for the inconsistencies. Inconsistencies? Uh, yeah, when Orlock bites his victims, they just die. A vampire's bite always spreads the infection. I think the writers of this film got it right. The only way to become a vampire is by willingly drinking its blood. Yeah, not according to Stoker. <laughs> Bram Stoker was wrong. Bram Stoker was wrong. <laughs> Not about everything. Just some things. Oh, okay. Well, maybe you can tell me then. Do all vampires know jujitsu so they can fight Buffy and Blade? You're cynical. You may be right. <laughs> I think I may have a job that you'd be interested in. Familiar? What's a familiar? I'm sure you'd find my employer very interesting. Now, I usually don't entertain old men's offers in a darkened theater, but there was something else to it, like being found by a long-lost brother with open arms. Do you know what the word evisceration means, boy? I'm getting too old, Bolivar. My time has passed. The, the boy is young. Well, I can crack your skull like a crab shell. His computer alone has all sorts of ways and means of acquiring female companionship. Whores? Yeah. <laughs> Women of the loosest morals. I like whores. I love them. The way they dress, the texture of their skin, the way they smell. Have you ever smelled a harlot's panties, boy? Really taken in their reek? Uh, no, I can't actually say that I have. Well, I have walked this world for 415 years, and I will always be mystified by the sheer raw power. Now, what about Samuel? What about Samuel? As of now, I am your god, your master. Fail me, and your screams will echo through the furthest reaches of hell. Serve me well. <laughs> and you'll experience things never imagined in your wildest dreams. <laughs> and that was my interview with the vampire. Serving a blood-sucking fiend isn't as hard as you'd think. Once you accept your boss is undead, it's relatively straightforward. He depends on you to do the things he can't even grasp, which turns out to be quite a lot. The guy can turn into a body of mist, but everything from microwaving a burrito to sustaining his finances fell into my lap. The nights roll on, and then one day you have a revelation. 
you realize being a vampire's familiar is just like any other job. The limbs, the torsos, the heads, even the supernatural powers he used, they'll become as routine as flipping a burger. You experience anything enough times, it becomes monotonous and then mundane. Six months in, I discovered the awful truth about vampires. Look into my eyes, wench. Do you feel my unbridled power? Oh, God, yes. Women were never seduced by a supernatural charm or an attraction to the dark side. I'm booked at 9 tomorrow. How's 11? Uh, sure, but he wants you to bring a friend. It was from me forking out 1200 bucks for services rendered. And I know what this looks like. But he was a corpse. Trust me, you forget to do this charming task and the place starts smelling like a KFC dumpster. And you ever wonder why they look so dapper when they can't cast a reflection? Take a wild guess who gets to dress and groom them. Oh, you gotta make it perfect. Not too much gel. Do I look like the company? If I don't look like the company, I'm not leaving here. I swear, you put too much gel and I'll rip your fucking heart out. Despite his arrogance and vanity, he held no real confidence or self-worth. He was kind of pitiful, and not in the Anne Rice sense of the word. The man was unbalanced. I wanted to meet Dracula, and I ended up serving Danny Bonaduce with fangs. This is my bed, you moron! Now look, the dirt has to be at least two inches across all the way at all times. Do you understand that? This is on fucking okay? Four years in, and this is as good as it got. <laughs> I can't say it was all a letdown. Sometimes when he was feeling generous, he'd spill the beans on info no one else could have. Uh, of course there's a devil. What do you think I am, you moron? <laughs> Do you think I got this way being bitten by some uh, radioactive bat? I am evil personified, bad to the bone. You know, I like you, Sam. I don't know why, but uh, I like you. You're gonna make a great vampire one day. I promise that. <laughs> a great vampire. And that's what kept me there. The promise of becoming like him. Well. Maybe not like him, but at least earning his power. Which brings us to Thomas Holland. Every once in a while, you have to deal with a slayer. You know, like Van Helsing or Buffy. Thomas Holland thought he was cut from the same cloth. According to his MySpace page, Holland was on a crusade to rid the world of all vampires. Rumor had it that he dusted six of them in seven years. In very bad ways. You have a problem paying your horse for services rendered. I don't. Holland believed vampires shouldn't even exist, which gave him license to do all sorts of twisted shit. Bolivar may have been inhuman, but this guy? This guy was insane. What the fuck do you want, anyway? What I want, devil? For the righteous to hear your screams. Jesus alone got my hand. <laughs> Simon, the latest issue of Face Squatting Femmes came for you. Familiar, right? Human? The beginners are vampire. Wannabes. Go! Go! Drink his blood! Become a vampire! After that, I offer my loyalty to you, my undying loyalty. Please. Don't let me die. You'll 
alive? Just get these fucking things off me. Oh, shit. This asshole's dead. You killed him, Sam. What? You just went way above and beyond your duties. He's dead? That's okay, Sam. It's all right. You know what? Hey, hey. You stopped a hunter. You know what this means? Your, your name is legend. Your name will be spoken of within our circle, our inner circle. Yeah, yeah, but I, I don't know what to... It's, it's okay. To show my appreciation, Sam, I'm going to give you a gift. You're going to turn me into... Yes! Lady. Yes! We'll share a harlot together. What? No. no. Oh, Sam, yes. Her nectar will, will bind us together as brothers forever. Oh, God. It'll be magnificent. News of Holland's death spread through the underground pretty fast. Bolivar was on a personal high. Things were good. And then we got word. Moreland was coming to honor the champion, to congratulate me. Now, as pecking orders go, Moreland would be the vampire equivalent to the Godfather. He was the oldest, the wisest, the most respected. I had paid my dues with another man's life. I was ready to become one of them. I am here to see the Grey Slayer. It is so nice to find you. You're the me. familiar? Yeah. Stay I... put. There he is. The man who stopped that crazy maniac. What can I say? I'm just that good. We owe you a debt, Simon. Who knows how many he would have killed if not for you? Well, I believe it's all about instincts, Morlin, and forethought. <laughs> Please join me, won't you? Good to see you again, my friend. You must be Sam. Yeah. I'm Penny, the Master's senior assistant. Oh, kudos to you. You must be so proud of Bolivar's accomplishment. Yeah, I'm fucking ecstatic. How did he take out that Slayer all by himself? Oh, he's a goddamn ninja. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. You've been serving your sovereign long? You know, I, I can't even remember anymore. That's how much fun it is. You? I became an apprentice 15 years ago. 15? Well, Jesus, you think they'll ever turn you? Turn? Yeah, into a vampire. You ever want to become one? We never become vampires. What? An assistant can never become a vampire. It's one of the rules. Rules? When has there been rules? We have very old, very strict rules. The first being one of us can never become one of them. We're blessed with a lifetime of servitude and a seat in the Horned One's most elegant courtyard. So rejoice, Sam. How many will be favored in hell? Christ. After that, the night started blurring into one. In his own way, Bolivar did turn me into a vampire. Apathetic, hollow, a murderer. I asked myself why I wanted to be one in the first place. Hey, Sam! Check out the cool pants! I didn't even know anymore. I still envied him. He may have been undead. This is ridiculous. But he got to live. What's on the marquee tonight? Oh, wow, Bergman. Vanders, Truffaut. You must have a bullet waiting for you at home. More like a noose. Interesting choice. I have a better solution than these. The general? It's Buster Keaton. And this is better than Paris, Texas. Can Natasha Kinski hold a railway tie while riding a cowcatcher? 
Can I give her the benefit of the doubt? See, now I want to watch it. I'm putting it on. Hey, I gotta close this place up in 10 minutes. You got any dinner plans? Uh, no. Good. You're buying me a burger. I am? You are. I'm Alice. I'm Sam. I know. You're in the computer. Sam! Here, take this from me. We should talk. Not now. I've had too much to drink tonight. I'm resigning. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I, I can't do this anymore. Look, my work's getting sloppy. I'll be happier, you'll be happier. I'll find a replacement, but I'm done, Simon. <laughs> Fucking idiot! I own you! I own your rotting piece of shit soul! Look, I'm gonna say this slowly so your tiny brain can process it. You get to go when I say you get to go. Everything you do, you do because I will it. You don't fucking own me. Look, I've served you faithfully for how many years? Do you think I wouldn't know about her? You think I'd let some squalid two-bit bitch get between me and my house slave? She's done. She's dead at my hand. Your little insurgence is done. I'll clean that mess up. Be sure my jacket's clean by nightfall. Wake up. I said, wake the fuck up, you son of a bitch. Oh, you little shit. You've got a big problem. Oh. 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 What the fuck is wrong with you? I got two things to say to you. All your assets, your money, your Swiss bank accounts, all the shit that allows you fiscally to survive from century to century, gone, liquidated poured into brand new bag accounts owned by you me the moron the idiot the retard who protected you for five years has effectively sucked you dry you're bankrupt asshole you say it you fucking low life say it one more time God, say it one I'll more fucking, time I'll fucking kill you <laughs> This, this is the second thing that I have to say to you. Happy trails, asshole. All my life, I've been obsessed with vampires. I even wanted to be one. Now? Now I just want to kill the fucking things.